Yeah, I'm DJ. Man. Let's, uh, let's I ain't go. shit, though. I just want everybody to know on the camera, I ain't shit. I, I ain't shit. So whatever I'm saying, just discount that I ain't nobody. I just got lucky. See, a lot of people gonna go tell you this narrative about their life and what they done went through. Nobody give a fuck about nobody's life. This is 2016. What I'm saying is, is that I was irrelevant and found a way to make myself relevant. You don't need to know my backstory, all that. Yeah, I went to these schools and did all this stuff and made friends, but I networked to make myself relevant to what people want to deal with. We fucked up the black community. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. Could you elaborate? Because the music, I mean, the music that we producing, man, this shit is contributing to people dying, G. We are making it cool to feel a particular way. This shit really is a detriment to the black community. I hate to say it, but I'm doing it to survive. This is how I eat. I didn't graduate from no fucking college and all that. And people telling each other college ain't for everyone. And actually, that may be true. But perception-wise, motherfuckers feel like they don't graduate to get some type of education. In a traditional sense, you dead out here. If you not special in something, if you not the best, do something else, man. Because you're going to be wasting your fucking time. You're going to be out here dead. Man, look. Man, look, man. Gee, don't send yourself off. 2017, 2016, don't send yourself off. That's all I can say, man. What got you into hip hop? Cause shit. Of all things. That was the shit that was popping out here. If you didn't, man, look, hip hop as a culture is black society. The way we dress, the way we ride our cars, leaning back, the way we talk on the phone, the way we walk. It's all black culture. So at the end of the fucking day, if you're not doing what culture deems as popular, you know, you're not going to fucking resonate with people and, and, and be young and growing and stuff. And shit, if you wasn't on the hip hop culture in early 99, 2000, when I grew up, gee, your ass was a nobody, period. Hip hop, Ludacris, Lil Jon. Jeezy, these like these are people that influence us because of what they had, you know. And I fell in love with hip hop. I would say when I learned to appreciate what the original hip hop was, you know, with the art and the artistic nature of it. Hip hop is instead of riding on two and ten, ride with one hand. That's fucking hip hop. That's hip hop, G. Did change the fuck the. It's just about being different and shit. But that shit really fucked it fucked us up because it allowed people who are not in the culture who don't fuck with urban youth to profile us. Oh, that's some hip hop motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Think about the evolution of hair, just hair. Think about this. In the 60s, motherfuckers was looking like Brad Pitt. Black motherfuckers was looking like Brad Pitt with the hair. In the 70s, everybody pro-black with the afros. Then the 80s, back to processing with the jerry curl. Then the 90s, the braids come in. The braids lasted all the way to the early 2000s. Then the dreads movement. And all of these hairstyles is what they use to profile black men in all situations. So at the end of the day, that's hip hop. So hip hop really has helped morale, but it didn't fucked up the black community because it, it, I mean, it fucked it up, man. So I like hip hop because the way it's helping us as black people and whatever do our thing and us urban people and you know, people that was broke and stuff, but man, gee, the culture of hip hop, man, that shit is detrimental to black society. A lot of y'all gonna say little negative shit, well, why are you in the culture that's hypocritical? Shit, a lot of y'all motherfuckers wanna eat healthy and go to McDonald's, shit, we doing what we, I mean, I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm doing what I have to do. I was put in this culture and I've been successful and man, shit, I just did what I had to do. Do you think that hip hop directly affects Chicago? Like, you've been saying you, that it does, but... Like, Hell yeah. Yeah. But fuck the Chicago shit. We talking about the world. Right. You got kids out here, blood. I'm a blood. <laughs> I'm a blood. Motherfucker don't even know how to spell blood damn near, but they a blood. The culture, the like the culture, G, it's like, come on, man. So society's becoming over-sexualized. It's becoming over masculine it's a hyper masculinity of the african-american man i'm tougher than you i'm harder than you i kill you i could take your bitch because i'm the better man for the bitch like come on g stop rapping i don't want no new rappers i meet 50 new rappers a day everybody rapping old friends rapping teachers rapping everybody's doing music because they feel that's the only way to make it gotta think even with the basketball thing like if it's seven million Black people in America and one million black boys who want to go in the NBA, if only 
4,000 of them make it to college. And only from that 4,000, 75 get drafted to the NBA. And it's, and it's only seven starting jobs. I mean, it's only like 35 starting jobs that's submitted with real money. And then out of that, only seven real stars. And the average life of the NBA career is four years. Then you got a million people trying to get uh, uh, seven jobs that only last one four years. That shit is a big send off. Don't send your fucking self off because you're not going to make it. And then when you don't make it, you're going to get frustrated. I, I went to school. I went to school with a, a lot of different people. Motherfuckers just ain't make it. That's just really what it is. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing negative against them. It ain't no disrespect to them. Think about, I, I'm going to look at the camera. Think about everybody you went to high school with. Everybody you went to grammar school with. Motherfuckers out here working at Pizza Hut. Goddamn working regular jobs. And no knocking on a regular job. But at the end of the day, if you look at any ancient cultures, we wasn't dealing with smaller level things. Everything was a, everybody had a, a mind for larger thought, like to contribute to the civilization being what it is. If you just content with your contribution to society and civilization being you fucking making a pizza with mozzarella and shit on it, then you fucking fail. And that's the problem with all communities is the dumbing down of innovation. That's why when people be hearing Kanye West talking, be like this motherfucker bugging. No, he just see innovation. He might be tripping out, but he's a, he's innovating. We all should innovate. We all should want to create something that's going to change everybody's lives. What's the word? 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 I'm stepping now. What's the word? 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 Hey, what's your time? CLP.